hurting. I'm not terribly musical, but you seem out of tune. It's not my fault. I can't hear my notes. The pipes are obstructed. I can see that. Why not do something about it? And endanger my vocal cords. You might do it for Everyone me. Everyone here has an excuse for doing nothing. Reminds me of the asylum.
I'll have to help you carry the tune. Better be light. It. The performers' eager efforts will be enhanced by my musical score. Please waken with this exciting news. <sighs> Not burned beyond recognition. As I recall, it was the smoke, you see. One day, you'll be joining them in the Oxford family vault, I imagine.
You just interrupted my dreams. Oh well, off to the show, I suppose. Indeed. Unusual, perhaps. Even extraordinary. But nearly nothing is unique, Alice. Yours was not the first brick home to be destroyed by fire. Together, Carpenter will grind my pearls. A proper order of things is often a mess. Story to me. You too. I 
I need the poster now. show begins. back together.
Let us resume our place before our adoring fans at the theatre. Impresario, you're a killer! The mastermind of a criminal enterprise! This world is not so either or, Alice. And I've done your bidding. You did a few errands, got your hands dirty, big deal. The show distraculates the crowd, shame you'll miss it. You need to deal with these sailors. It's your time. Time? Time? The time has come to talk of ships and, uh, and, and vegetables and royalty and, uh, and whether pigs have wings and so on. Enough of that, walrus. You start willing about there being too much sand on the beach, I'll have your blubber for breakfast. Shame on you, Carpenter. You made a promise. I had no choice. One can't always do as one would like. I'd have thought you'd know that by now. <laughs> <laughs> 